Today is Friday. It is November the 25th. Uh, the year is 2022. This is the day after Thanksgiving video. So yesterday I had my family over here. Uh, you know, I hadn't had a, 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 I hadn't owned a house in the past few years. I had it was in that townhouse and various other places over the past decade. So this is the first time we had the entire family over here because we had a house that was big enough to accommodate everybody in the dining room, living room, then various places for people to sit down and eat and enjoy each other's company. So I had a few family members and friends over. Um, it was really an uneventful evening other than the fire department stopping by. Yeah, my sister brought a big old pan of chitlins over here. Chitlin, you heard me. And I stuck them in the oven. And when I went to go remove those chitlins, well, the chitlins were in a plastic bag. And I had to cut the plastic bag around and put them into the pan. And I set that pan, an aluminum pan, on top of a, a baker's pan. You know, one of those, um, like you bake cookies on a cookie sheet. I set that on top and stuck it in the oven. But when I went to go remove it, the bag of chitlins that had came, the pan obviously was too small and it had overflowed into the cookie sheet. Thank goodness I put that in there. And that overflowed into the bottom of the oven, which is a gas oven fire. So big old flame poof came out of the oven. I almost burnt my ass. And so as the fire, the, the smoke detectors realized that the uh, there was a fire going on. Um, who was this, somebody? They realized there was a fire going on. The fire department got called in the midst of me putting out this fire and moving these chitlins and those other stuff. And the next thing I know, about 30 minutes later, the house would have burned down by the end. But the, the, the fire department showed up at the house. I was sitting at the table eating and I heard this, I said, oh, I never heard no fire alarm over in this area before. And lo and behold, they pulled up outside our house and I and started running up the hill. I said, oh, shit, they coming here. <laughs> I said, oh, shit. He <laughs> ran out there tell him, we don't have a fire going on. There's some, there's some smoky chitlins, a little black grease fire from the chitlins. And folks probably looking at me like, like, hey, chitlins in this house? Said, yeah, there's some chitlins in there burning. But other than that part, everything was a little uneventful. We had a family. I just, I'm half, I got a little bit of cleaning to do. I had a couple of them spent the night. So they're up, they're not here now. They would go see Wakanda while I keep my eyes will be cleaning up Wakanda. So I had to clean up the house over here and they are, um, going to the movie theater. I just got to clean up a few things upstairs in the house, but everything else is fine. I spent most of the morning mopping and cleaning. <laughs> yeah, I like to do my own cleaning because I know how I like it. So, and the vet of Vanny and Vegas, you no, know, Grayson and Grayson and Ginger are upstairs sleeping. We're gonna take them out in a few minutes. But I'm, I gotta clean up that bedroom up there too. But this time last year was weird because it wasn't weird. Last time last year we were in Aruba. And for Thanksgiving. And um, it popped up on my timeline. It felt like that was eons ago because we're going to buy it. I, I had no plans last year of purchasing a home. Um, this house just kind of came, you know, I wanted to buy a house in Miami. And that didn't work out. And then came across this house that everybody seems to love. And have the renovations done. So um, this house. You know, a year ago when I was in Ruben, my purchase in the house was not on the agenda. Just, you never know what happens in the course of a year. And I definitely would not have thought last year at this time when I was in Aruba on the beach that I'd be a year later in a house that I did a major renovation on. I would never have thought that. Life sometimes come, comes at you so fast you really don't know which direction to go. You know, so I'm kind of thankful for this house. I'm grateful that um, I was able to, you know, entertain and feed my family here for Thanksgiving. This is a lot. Of, I have a lot of stuff to be grateful for. And, you know, sometimes we get caught up in so much of the um, daily chores of life, I'll say, that we forget that there's a lot of stuff to be thankful for. I mean, good health. My family's in good health. We all had a great meal. My, most of my, my family's fine. There are some incidents, tragic incidents that hap happened yesterday in Atlanta. Terrible stuff happened. And, you know, but I'm just grateful 
with good health and and um, a happy family and everybody's you know as best we can be under the circumstances. Ain't nothing really going on. I mean, other than the fact that we all gathered, and ate too much and drank too much last night, and a couple of folks spent the night. Yeah, so we had a house full of people last night, and uh, we spent we were who were we were respecting nobody to spend the night, and ain't a whole bunch of folks spend the night behind the cousins and nieces and nephews, kids, and um, you know, like luckily we had clean sheets on all these beds. And I got to wash all the sheets and clean all the beds off when they leave here. But they're at the movie theaters now, so hopefully tonight they have to the movie theater. They go to the ass back home and get in their own damn bed. I'm, I'm hoping uh, the Hotel Hampton will be closed tonight. I mean, there's no room in the inn tonight, honey. Close the, de- the, de- the desk is closed. They're not taking no more reservations, honey. Mm-mm. Fully booked. Yeah, y'all go home and get in your own damn bed. But hopefully. What's going on? I was trying to get this a little late during this video. I was trying to get to the gym today. I don't think that's gonna happen because I just literally just got through cleaning up this kitchen and scrubbing in pots and pans and vacuuming and cleaning them up. I'm exhausted. I'm like, okay. In fact, I'm sitting here eating me a piece of red velvet cake from piece of cake. I'm eating this. I sit down at this table and say, let me make a quick video. Before I take these dials, I take before it rained here last night. You hear Grayson up there, he's screaming here. As soon as he heard me talking, okay, he down and talking. He doing that YouTube video without a like again. He's howling now. He can hear me. It was funny because last night Grayson realized we had guests in the house. So about he was like, okay, something ain't right here. I smell something. He would not go to sleep. He just was pacing around that room trying to get out and to the to the hallway where there, you know, the other bedrooms. He's like, somebody is here. What is going on here? And I was like, okay, we're not getting no sleep. He's just barking and making all this noise and just, he was trying his best to get over there where he, he smelled them. So he sensed they were here. And so I ended up having to put him in his cage and stick him in that bathroom, way in the back of that bathroom so we can get some sleep because he was, he was not going to rest until he found out what the fuck was going on upstairs in the house. So that's one good thing about a dog. They they know when people are around. So if, you, if I'm ever laying in bed and he starts barking something, I'm be like, somebody's outside this house. And sure enough, I look outside, there's somebody out there. He he recognizes it there. And I'll keep me two in the morning. You look outside, you see oh, so somebody here. So actually, we had a great Thanksgiving. My mother was came over, family, friends, and um. Just a little small little video of them finished cleaning up in this house before they get back over here. I need to take these dogs out because they've been in them cages for a couple of hours now. And finish eating my red velvet cake over here, my little snack before I figure out we got, I don't know what we're going to do for dinner because y'all, I'm, I'm, listen, when you cook Thanksgiving dinner, macaroni, we had macaroni, you know, we had this, right, this traditional I went and got a fried turkey. I picked up a ham from Copeland's. That ham from Copeland's was damn good. Normally, we get a ham from Honey Bake, but I was being lazy and went on and just ordered the fried turkey from Copeland's. And they had a ham over there, a spiral ham. Oh, it was delicious. I think Copeland's in Atlanta, that, that, that spiral ham tastes delicious. I would vote that ham um, over um, Honey Bake, seriously. It was that damn good. Cause everybody, they, they devoured that ham. They said, oh, this is way better. Normally get honey baked ham. And honey baked makes a good ham. Don't get me wrong. For those of you who eat swine and pork, I don't know. Like black folks, be vegetarian. And you know, I'm fucking there. Oh, I had a few of them there last time. We don't eat the meat. We be vegetarians. Black folks get on my damn nerve. Then that's so we, we ate meat. So we had, what did we have? Fried turkey, dressing. I can't, um... Earl did a smoked turkey. Um, I think there was something else here. Oh, chitlins. I'm the damn chitlin. I forget that. I'm burned down the damn house. And just some, you know, just regular greens, sweet potatoes, dressing. Y'all know the same old same. Everybody ate this. I'm sure the vibe went from black folks to black house. It's pretty much the same thing. Soon as everybody's table. Okay, same one mess. Everybody eating the same thing. But, um,. It was some of the type of meat we had in here. I can't remember what it was now, though. No, I can't remember. But anyway, but, um, oh, oxtails. My sister bought this big old thing of oxtails. She spent all this money, and I, and I ended up cooking on oxtails. 
and they actually came out delicious. Everybody said these are the best oxtail. I didn't, you know, I tried a new recipe. I made up my own. I said, okay, because I was gonna put them on the grill. I said, I ain't got time to grill these things. I'm gonna put these things in the smoker, and they came out delicious. So we had them oxtails, and that was basically it. We had a nice little time over here. I guess one of the conversations we all kept discussing was about Shankello, Shankello, Roberts, Rob, what is this girl? I can never say her name. Shankwila Robinson, the girl who was, who was, um, murdered in Mexico because we all were, everybody just, even my family was always like, wow, we all were discussing this. And we all said the same thing. We've all had friends that probably shouldn't have been around us and stayed in our presence too long. And I was talking to my niece, and I was like, and she was, they, we all have, they were criticizing her. That girl was only 25 years of age. Y'all, do y'all realize that it wasn't until I was 40 years of age that I got rid of friends that just, and they had been around me for since the early 90s. And when I hit 40, I had to shut all of them off, literally overnight, just get rid of them. So this guy girl was 25 years of age, young, and um, it's, there's so much criticism on her, but she, sh- this incident in Mexico should never have happened, y'all, ever, under any circumstances. It should never, ever have happened. You find out of the country with friends, supposedly friends, whatever issues or problem they was having, they could have resolved that when they get back to the United States. Now there's a warrant and somebody's going to be shipped back to Mexico to be in jail. And you got this girl dead. And this probably should have never happened. None of this should have happened. But we can't criticize her. When people say well, her, who her friends were. Y'all was around, surrounded by snakes for years. Then church-going Christians, my friend in church, every Sunday, they were horrible people, though. They didn't learn anything from going to church every Sunday. Running around with the Bible, criticizing me, but they were just horrible snakes, just disgusting individuals, and I tolerated it for years because uh, they were my friends. Mm-hmm. Now that word would be the F, that's the F word to me. Friends, I'm mean, okay. Fuck you. That's what it sound like to me. Cause that's what they going. Friends end up doing fucking you over. So I don't, I'm not into all these friendships mess, and I certainly would be over in Cabo with no pack of niggas talking about so we flying down to Cabo. <laughs> no, we ain't. I'll see y'all when y'all get back. I'm going to Cabo on my own. I don't need to be with you niggas. I don't, hell no. Anybody doing that shit? But you know, that was a conversation because everybody had an opinion about this young woman. And did she not know that these people were that savage? That they would beat her to death down there? And why she wasn't fighting back. And I said, y'all, that girl was either drunk or drugged. And y'all, having, having, and me having had personally drink spiked by a good friend of mine, put drugs in my coffee and lemon drop martinis. You know, when somebody does something like that to you, leaves a lot of, I don't trust people anymore when it comes to like, for example, I went someplace a few weeks ago and somebody brought me a drink back and I couldn't even drink that drink because I was just like, oh, I'm not drinking this. In my head, and she, if y'all ever see me out, don't bring me no drink because I'm not drinking it. I'm sorry. I just ain't. <laughs> I'm learning my lesson. I'm not done all this because this was a friend of mine. This was not an enemy. This was somebody I've known for years. And when she took, put in my drinks, um, I don't even, even to this day, I, I, I was so furious about this for years. Like, why did she do that? You know, what was the reason for this? And, you know, I have to talk about it one now. I feel like talking about it, but I ended up getting arrested, you know, because this girl had me out of my element and doing crazy stuff. And it just was just ridiculous. But I never knew what was going on until later on when after I got out of jail and all this stuff, that's when I found out, well, you know, she put something in your drink. Well, who, why didn't y'all, what is this? You know that this, that she did this? And y'all just laughed about it? 
You know, it's it's like, okay, what kind of friends am, am I surrounded by? What kind of snakes and demons are you all? I had to cut everybody off because I, I was done. I'm like, okay, this is what these. So, I don't fault her. She was just too young, y'all. And she didn't realize that those people that she flew to Mexico with, she should never even walked over to a Burger King with their asses. She literally couldn't have crossed across the street and went to Burger King with them. Least alone, fly out of the country to Mexico. That was a terrible mistake. But she just didn't know. And I think they were probably planning and plotting this the whole time. I always feel like they, 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 this shit just don't happen overnight, y'all. That little road trip I ended up on, I could do it was a doozy. It didn't just happen overnight, y'all. The um, these individuals have been plotting and planning against this girl for a long time, and they finally got her where they wanted her, where they could take advantage of. She couldn't just walk out and get in her car and drive off. They had her trapped at that resort in another country far away from home. I don't think they meant to kill her. I don't think they meant to, I don't think they meant to kill her. But beating up on somebody like that, y'all, people need to realize, keep your hands to yourself. I've read reports and I've seen things and somebody get into a fight and get knocked to the ground and getting killed from a blow to the head. You know, I don't think those individuals also meant to kill that person, but that's what happened. People need to stop and think before they do stupid shit. And believe me, you, I bet you, bitches, them bitches shaking in that cobble. They call them cobble six. They shaking in their boots right now. Uh, they running from them damn folks chasing behind them. About to put them on an airplane and send them back to Mexico. Boy, I wouldn't want to be in issues right now. But you know what? You know what I mean? You know, you got to deal with it. You made your bed, you got to lay in it. That's why y'all see me running around. I'm going to beat somebody up. I'm going to kick their ass. I'm going to shoot them. I'm going to do that. Oh, no, I'm not doing any of that above, honey. I might talk about your bed in a YouTube video. That's as far as I'm going. I'm a, I lay you out on YouTube, but I ain't touching you. Mm, they don't be sitting up in no jailhouse talking about someone. Well, I mean, he had life in prison for murder. Oh, no, 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 no. That is not happening. I ain't going to jail for touching nobody. I don't want to serve no time. I ain't about to fight you. Rest none of the above. It ain't happening. I'm going on about my business. Okay, whatever. Go we'll close my door. We'll be done with this. Some of y'all like to stand up in jail. I don't. I've been to prison. I know what that shit is like. No, thank you. I'm not going to go. I'm gonna be, I'd rather sit here and eat my slice of red velvet cake peacefully in my house. Oh, no. You ain't getting none of that behind them damn bars. You ain't. Ooh, no, 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 no. I don't know what these people be thinking. You would think black folks uh, or people, they love going to jail. I don't ever go shooting, killing, shooting, killing, shooting, killing, shooting, arresting, shooting. Arrested, shooting. Well, who, who, what is wrong with these crazy people? In many instances, they've never served time before or been in behind bars or they've served very small amount of time or been arrested a few times. All of a sudden, you got a life prison and a life sentence in prison. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yana, what did you just say? Okay. What, what was that? No. Mm -mm. I'm not touching nobody. It's never crossed my mind to harm a soul. What's the point? If I feel that bad about a person, I need to get away from that individual. And leave them alone. That's why y'all, to this day, listen to me. I don't have a lot of friends. I just don't. I don't trust people in that nature. I don't I don't trust them. I just... When you've had people riding in your car, sitting at your dining room table, in the presence of your family members, and they were all the time, the whole time, they were plotting and planning against you. When you discover that type of people in your presence and, and something that went on for years that you really didn't know much about. And you wake up and say, well, y'all didn't like me the whole damn time. What the fuck? You know, people will smile on your face and pretend they like you, pretend to be your friend, but they really don't like you. I've been down that path and I don't want to go back down that path again. So I limit my interactions. Hey, how you doing? See y'all later. I'm out. That's all I can do when it comes to friends. 
and associates. I really don't want them around. The people, the few, the two people that came over here, I've been known them for a while, came over, got dinner. I invited them to grab their dinner, ate, sat down, talked, laughed, and went back home, back home. So I don't do that whole entourage of friends. We friends and we hanging out. No, 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 no. We ain't hanging out. We ain't none of that. Okay. You're an associate. You're going to stay over there and mind your boundaries. French trends are not something that you can just add water and stir. It's something that takes time. But people have to prove their loyalty. They have to also prove that they're honest and that they like really like you. And if I have any red signs, get rid of the ass as quick. That's what I do. I do like I said before in previous, but I block and delete your ass so damn fat, and I don't think nothing about it. You blocked me. You what happened? I was trying to call you. you did you block me? I did. I'm not dealing with that bullshit. I'm too old. And I forgive the video for being dying. I feel like hooking up that light. I could have hooked up the light today because them dogs ain't running right. It's quiet in there. I'm about to go take their ass out right now. So this is a little bit longer video than what I had wanted to say. But anyway, I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. I had a really nice Thanksgiving. And I got to get back over here cleaning up because the sun is going down. I've been living over here cleaning up all day. I just did it myself. I mean, I just, I know I want it done. And, you know. I just did it myself. I just got a, two more floors to mop. And a little bit of vacuuming doing and clean up these bathrooms. Scrubbing toilets and that's it. I mean, what the fuck was I thinking about this house? Lord, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful. I'm grateful to have it. Anyway, today is Friday. It is November the 25th, the day after Thanksgiving. And I'm out of here. And I'll enjoy the rest of you. Hope y'all had a great Thanksgiving. And I'll talk to you all later. Have a great night.